guys today we're gonna build an engine but we need parts i don't know where the hell all the parts are we need some parts guys oh i don't know where they are i know i have them but the place is a mess let's try this boom we found our parts guys all right so we have like 80 percent of what we need but we have all the important stuff to complete the bottom end at least as far as the transmission goes we got that we got a brand new crank oem we have all brand new bearings uh we have top end kit <clears throat> and then we have all brand new bolts for the cases we are missing the side covers flywheel cover clutch cover those are at spot sport bike powder coating getting coated but we don't really need those just yet anyway and we have uh the cylinder the uh cylinder head is getting service but uh we don't need that now we got plenty to do so today's mission is to get all these old bearings out get the new bearings in and get these cases together so let's get going all right guys before we get going i want to thank uh thank a few people uh first up is donnie griffith at griff's motorsports i actually sent him these cases this year to clean instead of doing it myself just save time and honestly uh for the money it was well worth it check these things out guys they look absolutely amazing he does all kinds of parts cases any kind of parts you want cleaned um he can take care of it very reasonable prices like i said i will leave his information in the description um and check him out guys all right definitely uh save me some time i you guys know i have that little glass cabinet right there which is fine it does the job but honestly just i mean it, it takes some time it, it takes me two maybe three hours to do it so it was it was just easier to send it to him let him handle it and and then that's uh two to three hours i can spend right here building this engine instead of wasting time cleaning it i definitely got to upgrade that cabinet someday um second drew blackley at comedic gaskets guys just got hooked up with them for 2020 so uh huge thanks to them drew actually reached out to me oh, he reached out to me at iron man when we had the famous uh glove in the cylinder incident uh if you guys haven't seen that video check it out i'll leave that in the description as well he's at pretty much every gncc with a you know with a good stock of gaskets and uh he said he had gaskets but obviously that happened on thursday he wasn't there till Friday, so we were in a little bit of a jam trying to just get the thing fixed on Thursday so we could relax. But um, anyway, he hooked me up for 2020. If you guys need gaskets, check them out. I will also leave their link in the description. They got uh, everything you guys need for all machines, all makes. And I've been using these gaskets, like I said, for quite a while with no issues. Um, so it's good stuff, you guys. So get yourself some comedic gaskets for all your builds all right even uh service needs you guys are changing out clutches top ends all that stuff they got it all all right so then we got to thank steve depping uh he's from you know hot rods still in the works hot cams vertex pistons that you know it's a big company they got a lot of different things i always get my cylinder kits and pistons from him i did get some bearings uh water pump rebuild kit uh all kinds of different things they always take good care of me uh each and every year i've been with them for a while if you guys need any parts like that cylinder kits pistons bearings uh cams they got all ball stuff there now they got a lot of different companies for lots of different machines even axles and stuff for different machines um so check them out huge thanks to, uh, to them uh, and that's pretty much it so we aren't going to use we aren't going to reuse all this stuff we got we're going to get some new head bolts we're going to get some new of these these timing chain guides we're going to get we're going to replace these this one's a little worn you can see right there a little worn out i don't know if you can see that but that's worn out we're going to change those but those aren't a big deal we can still get the bottom end together that's the plan so let's get these bearings these old bearings removed
All right, guys, we got all the bearings out. I did a final cleaning on the cases. All right, old bearings in that one right there. Old bearings in this one. You guys did see I struggled a bit. I think it was this one right here with the blind race puller. Works great. Ended up just heating it up a little bit. And uh, she ended up coming right out. Also, I was struggling with these a bit. I got new ones. I did get those out. Heated them up. Came right out. So now we need to go get our bearings. Let's go get them. If you guys followed along on last year's build, you will know that I did not do this. So for just for you guys, that gave me crap. The bearings are frozen. All right. We're going to put a little heat on the cases. And uh, hopefully they don't give us uh, a hard time like last year. Because the mains gave us a little bit of a hard time. So hopefully this does the trick. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the mains. And if you guys are doing this project for an engine build, all right, get a manual. That's number one. Make sure you get a good manual. I actually had the manual on my phone. I don't know if it's maybe tough to see. Everything you need right there, right at my fingertips all the time. This isn't that hard, guys. Follow along with the manual. And honestly, after the first one you do, they're very, very simple. Just take your time, follow the instructions, and you'll build an engine, all right? So you guys saw the bearings are nice and cold. I'm going to give this a little heat, and uh, hopefully this sucker goes in nice and easy. So with these mains and most of the bearings, guys, you want to make sure, see how this has a little indent for it and this side doesn't? This is going to face up for your bearing retainer clips. So make sure you put that in the right way. Oh my God, this thing's literally like dropping in. Yeah, that made a difference, guys. Definitely made a difference, not going to lie. Let's see, let's see, let's see. definitely was a little easier she started off just a little crooked i had to straighten her out but that one's in all right we're gonna get the other main all right so we'll heat this one up Same thing with this one guys make sure that little indent is facing up all right oh, 
one to go straight. Oh, look at that. Jesus. I mean, that's pretty. I mean, that's that's crazy. See, so you, you guys see that? That's freaking unbelievable. That thing's in all the way. All the way. It's in. I don't even have to press it. I'm going to give it just a little press to make sure, but I don't think it even needs it. <coughs> oh. Yep, she's in. So that was that was what we wanted, right, guys? Nice and easy. Literally, just drop that freaking thing right in there. So that should. It's already. Uh, she's in there. All right. So now we'll uh, we'll work on some of the smaller ones. All right, guys. So we're gonna work on these two next. Oh, Same thing with these guys. These have an indent on them as well. See it? So make sure that that is facing up. I'm just going to lightly tap these down. They should go in rather easy with the heat. Gotta hurry up. I got to hurry up. It's too small. There we go. I don't know. I may have done it. Oh, no, there we go. All right, that one in. Very easy. Got one more. That one gets a double. Same thing. Make sure that is up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Dropped right in, guys. Definitely, uh, definitely helps. Freezing the bearings. A little bit of heat on the cases. All right, so now we can flip, flip it. Oh, burnt my rag. Look at that. All right, so we'll do, uh, let's see, we'll do this one next. This one was definitely tough to get out. Probably the toughest one. Do a little tap, little tap. Shouldn't need much, it should. That one's in. All right, then we got, let me see, we got this one right here. So we got this one. So this one doesn't have that indentation, so it can go either way. It's not a sealed bag. We got a little heat on this. These, all these smaller ones, really. Hopefully, we don't have a fire. All these smaller ones usually aren't bad even without heat, but uh, I definitely like how it's going with the heat. Definitely helps. All right, and we got this little guy, which is this one. I would bet that this one Nice and easy. All right, before we put the retainers in this side, I'm gonna do the other smaller ones in the other cases, just so this cools down a bit, cause it's freaking hot. Like right there, it's hot. Put that there. This guy over here, ruined my blank, my, uh, my rag is ruined. It's all right though. All right, so 
we will do let's see what are, what are we going to do first let's go this way all right so we'll do this one guys right there we'll give that one some heat this guy probably could use a little more heat these usually like I said these go in usually relatively easy just tap them right in this one's fighting us a little bit that one's in uh, I'm just going to tap the rest of these in because these they don't have a lot of pressure on them all right so this one right here will be next let me flip this around you guys can see I don't know, hopefully so that was next sealed side is gonna go out Nice and easy. All right, then we got the last one on this side. Which is this one right here. Same thing, sealed side down. That one pops right in, no problem. All right, so now we can go ahead and put the retainers back in. This is, I'll do that one first because that one's cool. Get rid of all this crap. So let this one cool for a minute. We'll go back to this one. We will need... need a punch because once these are in place for the mains you will punch the bolts down right into that just to lock them in we will, we will put a little bit of loctite on all these as well So your obviously your large ones go where the main bearing is. One there, one there. Get them started by hand. So that's that one so now we will do so this one's important guys right here for the transmission side you will look at this one and it can go either way but it's gonna go this way all right I've actually done this before the wrong way and uh, 
you know once you get the cases together the tranny will lock up so then you got to pull them all apart figure out what you did wrong but a lot of times this can be the culprit so pay attention to that it goes towards the outside of the cases it does have kind of a little indent so you just follow that and you'll be good this guy can only go one way down one on the other side that one doesn't get anything we have this guy right here one left So those are all in now we will punch down the main screw heads one good tap into that indent and you'll be good maybe two i'll do two that's good now this one and one more good hopefully you guys can see that see the indents so right there right there so this side's done to the other side same thing a little bit of loctite a little bit of red loctite on the on all the bolts get the big ones the big ones are for the mains And then you got three little ones, two for inside. One for the outside. Since we're already right here, we'll bang these down right now. And the last one right here. That's it for the bearings guys so you can see the indent one two these are all good now we will uh, get ready for the transmission all right so now we're gonna put this guy in right here the spring definitely gonna keep the other side of the uh, shift drum out to pop this in makes it a lot easier just spring this guy back like that and then pop this guy in and that's 
that. Tighten this up again. Alright guys, when you're doing the transmission, you want to just make sure the shift drum is in neutral. The neutral position. I don't know if you guys can see that little groove right there. That's neutral. Alright. Alright guys, so now we can get the transmission in. Oil strainer. So this guy goes right there. They're a little tightened. So then we have this little dowel with the O-ring. That goes here, right in the middle. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that. All right, so let's get this tranny transmission in place. So don't forget this guy, all right? Make sure that's on there. We're going to drop this in first like that. Shift forks. A little uh, assembly lube in those things. I'm just gonna put it, put it on the uh, put it on the pin after. So this one I'm go right there. How these went? How do these go? I know the two go. All right, I know how this goes. That's all right. Assembly lube on there, slide this in. Nope. Alright, and then we get this guy. Mix it spin freely, that's neutral. So we are good. Right, we've got a couple new dowels we can put in.
one down here. <clears throat> All right, so now we can put the. Uh, we got a screen, one screen on this side, and we put one screen on the other side. Uh, put a little uh, assembly lube on these things. Hopefully it slides together nice and easy. Make sure I get these bearings as well, all the insides of them. Make sure you guys keep, when you're doing this, make sure that you keep the outs, you know, the center of the cases clean before you put the gasket maker on there. Get all the oil, anything that's on there, clean it up. We will put the crank in. We're going to lay down the gasket maker, then pop the crank in. So let's go ahead and get the uh, gasket maker on there. Got it in my pocket, warming up. Just a thin layer, guys, not too much. You want to go easy with this stuff. All right, once you got it all on there, it's pretty much all on there. Just check it all. Make sure you guys got every spot. Give this a once over quick. I think it looks good so far. You can take a little pick or a little screwdriver if there's spots you think there's too much. Oh, we did forget a spot right in the middle over here. See, that's why you gotta look. We've got a spot right in the middle over here. You can take a little pick or screwdriver, flatten it out, spread it around, remove it. So it's a nice even layer right around. That's pretty much it, guys. Go. Let's put that little piece in the middle. Give it a once over again. Alright, so we're good. Good, good. I'm going to do a little, a little more over here. I like it. I like it. All right, so let's get the crank in. We will put a little bit of assembly lube on this. This should drop right in. That's in. Make sure the other end of this side of the cases is clean. It looks good. So let's put a little bit of lube on this thing. That should be good. All right, guys, it's time to uh, time to get the other uh, case half and uh, throw it on here. We got everything in the engine, transmission's done, oh, that's in the oil screen. All right, we're gonna go for it. Now I just twist these a little bit. 
usually falls into place. You will need a, uh, a rubber mallet. Rub a mallet and just lightly tap it all around. She's going, she's going. Almost there. Oh, she's close. Very close. She's almost there. There we go, guys. She is on there. We'll go get our bolts. We got all new bolts. We do have our in the interior bolts. I think there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. It's the only ones that I couldn't get. And then I still have to get the new little uh, the bracket for the wiring. I'm going to get a new one of those. So we'll put these on for now. I'll have to take them out. Just those two. Let's put that little bracket on. We've got a new one of these. Bracket for the starter wire. That just goes like that. Alright. Alright guys. We found two more. So there's one. There's two. We need one more for there. I don't know if that's a small one. Is it a small one? Yep. Alright. So now we can tighten these up. We'll start with the ones in the middle inside the engine. Tranny's still free, that's good. Looks like it's all of them, guys. That's all. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. The bottom end is together. We will let it dry over the night, and then we'll work on part two. We'll get the internals on the outside of each side of this case, the flywheel side and the clutch side, and then we can do part of the top end. We can do the cylinder and the piston, get that done, so that'll be on part two's video, along with getting these some of these seals in. We need to put that seal in. We need to put that seal in and then we got the cover for that i need to order one of those um and then that's pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed this build uh as always thanks for watching uh if you're not yet please consider subscribing and uh shoot me a like in this video that actually helps me out a ton guys and drop a comment if you got any questions we'll see you on the next one all right